Crunchy Cardboard is a live play session of a tabletop game organized by Geekspiel. We're an inclusive community of tabletop gamers that are creating PG-13 content for the purpose of sharing our love of board games with the young and old of the world. We play games, we have laughs, we stream all of that to Twitch. What you're watching here is a recording of that live stream, so please forgive the blips and bumps that come along with producing that in just one take. If you want to engage with us in real time on Twitch, follow or subscribe to our channel there, and you'll know when we're live. If you want to play games with us on or off the air, join our Discord server and raise your hand. You can find links to both in the details of this video or by visiting our website, geekspiel.com. Thanks, and enjoy the game. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Crunchy Cardboard. I am Chris in a different show than I typically do, but hey, you got to love me, right? Uh, <laughs> we are playing Dinogenics tonight. Uh, we've got a couple of folks with us. Let's start with some intros. Uh, Paul in orange. Paul, say hello to everyone. Hello, everybody. And then we have the other Chris tonight. Chris is in yellow. Chris, say hello to everyone. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? And if you're watching the stream, you are actually seeing Chris's screen. So if anyone wants to cheat and tell me all of the things that Chris has in his hand um, at any one time, please feel free to do so. Uh, and the last person we have to introduce, who you've met on Monday, is Richard. Richard, say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. All right. And Richard's playing in the as the white player. I am the blue player. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So before we kind of do the, we're not doing a full rules teach. Um, we're literally just going to hop right in pretty much and play. Um, I want to make one announcement, which is we are doing a raffle uh, for the sh uh, for a giveaway of Dinogenics. So if you are interested uh, tonight, and, you, and you've already been a part of the show, that's fine. Um, because I know we did a, a set of entries on Monday. Uh, if you want to go ahead and press exclamation point raffle, excuse me, and you will get, if you are unsubbed, one entry, and if you are subbed, four entry. So know that also, if you um, have Amazon Prime, you can link that and get a free sub. So it's really great. If you want four, then you can go ahead and free sub to us and get some entries. So, well, I'll, I'll announce that a couple of different times throughout the night. I'm sure Matt will yell in my ear as well um, to remind me. So awesome. Um, Richard, why don't you go ahead and just give us a brief intro to what is Dinogenic? Well, Dinogenics is a work replacement game where everybody is competing to build basically the perfect dinosaur park. Um, right, the right. How many Jeff Goldblum references do we get tonight? Uh, that, that'll come down to Chris, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's off um, to the best reference. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I've already posted in Discord um, the greatest... Uh, Jeff Goldblum meme ever, so it's all right. It's fine. Um, okay, so yes, you're building your best park. I apologize for interrupting you. We're going to go through some uh, some rounds and turns and things so everyone can kind of see, um, but do you want to just talk through, I mean, the general flow of a turn? Sure. So uh, in a standard turn, um, what's going to happen is, uh, especially this turn, uh, people are going to uh, assign worker beeples to areas of the mainland here. Whenever you do this, you gain resources. Um, there are a number of different things here from DNA to money to uh, park facilities. So uh, whenever you acquire these things, you bring them back to your park and they're basically used to either accommodate additional visitors or the, the direct acquisition of dinosaurs that will make your park better. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, like I said, we could, we could go through all of the things, but instead of that, let's just go ahead and get started. So, uh, yeah, it looks like Chris is going to be our first player, correct? Yeah. Uh, I got the randomly selected first, so I'm going to start things out pretty easily and I'm going to start with just taking a worker maple and moving them over to the uplink so I can play my manipulation card. All right. Well, Man, what turn evil have? from the very beginning. Merchandise. Oh, okay. Now, I think what you really want to do is give everyone two, and you get eight. Here, here's the thing. is that I do admit that ah, you're, you're asking for altruistic. 
so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take the six and call it good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You missed. I mean, you're missing out on two, two monies here. Yeah, but you guys could get to spend it before I can. Yeah. That's true. Let's hope no one takes some of these you, great you, building and facilities. And you, you did start out with less money than everybody else. So that would. Uh, yeah, you could have had up. more. Gosh. Yeah. All right. Uh, who's next? Paul, I think. All right. I think so. Um, well, I'm going to go up here. And. Oh, man. That money is so tight here in the beginning. <laughs> Um, I'm going to spend three. Sorry, and buy a hotel. Okay. As I'm told, those are important. And then I'm going to sell some T-Rex DNA to this market. Oh, uh, see, so. you did a thing I really didn't want you to do. Because I got rid of your ankylosaurus <laughs> DNA. to get rid of that ankylosaurus. <laughs> All right, um, that T Rex gives me four. All right, next. Well, I'm gonna need some DNA, so I think I'm gonna go to site A and pick up two cards. All right, I'm also heading to the city center, I'm going to also sell a T Rex. Far too wow. dangerous in the early game. Wow. And Just going... know that there are three T Rexes in the Boneyard. And so, again, if folks are interested, there are, <laughs> there are some options. You have to get dirty getting that goat Boneyard. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to use the money from this T Rex to buy this biodome. Oh. Is this a family show and am I allowed to curse? Uh, this is um, a PG 13 show. So curse within reason. <laughs> we try we try to limit it if at all possible. I am upset. <laughs> <laughs> does it does it make you more upset to realize I do not have any pterodactyls in my hand? <laughs> That's a move. No wow. Okay. Uh, so it goes back around, Chris, the mildly upset one. <laughs> All right. So, um, real the, quick, um, the icon that the the building that just got placed. Um, what are the the eggs? On that so, technology? with the um, this facility, uh, you gain one victory point every round for every unique species in your park. Okay. All right. So, in that case, now that I'm a bit confused as to my own future, I think I'm going to. Is that any different than normal, though? Like, I know for me, I'm always confused. Ah, uh, yeah. To make a funny reference, and it didn't work for me. <laughs> oh, um, could you, uh, adminize us all so that we can search the decks? Oh, absolutely. Hold on, just a moment. Being able to look through the boneyard is important. Yes, it is important. All right, on my turn, then I'm going to go ahead and get a standard hotel for three. And I'm going to also pick up this Triceratops DNA for the one coin it costs since it's in the discount spot. I feel like we're giving people the game. <laughs> All right. All right, next up. <laughs> All right. Was that yellow? Yeah. So that's, that's me? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I'm going to go... I'm just going to go here and get three money. All right. Okay. Well, you all have done things that I really want to do, so I appreciate that. And um, I, I'm still not adminized, Chris. I uh, says you are. Yeah, it says everyone is on my screen. That's strange. Are you? Yep, it's not an option for me. I read um, yeah. 
make sure you have the whole deck selected. Ah, uh, there we go. Somebody had not set that on top. My bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I think I, um, so just, I, I guess I, uh, should I just do it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to the boneyard and, um, I'm going to pick up actually this raptor. Uh, you are the, now the proud Omer, owner of a scandal. I am. I'm scandalous. <laughs> uh, all right. I am going to go to site A and just grab some DNA here. Wow. Okay. Chris, with your last meeple in the round, the preseason. So I... in your park for launch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I badly want to um, do a little bit of production here, but I'm going to get a mutant at the beginning of immediately next turn, and I got to have some place to put that. But it doesn't rampage from the beginning, right? Oh, it'll, it, yeah. If you it don't will if it's placed yeah, outside place of a pen. Legally. Yeah. All right, new plan here. We're just getting goats. <laughs> <laughs> get those goats. All right. Um, fences are two coins, right? Yes. All right. Um, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to spend six coins on this thing, but I'm okay. also going to spend two coins on fences. So. I'll drop a couple of fences off for you. Thanks, sir. Okay, I am going to go to Uplink, and I am going to play my card here. Um, Matt, I don't know where you're, I guess you're on Chris's screen, so I'll put it next to Chris so everyone can see. Um, but I get to essentially use two different non-Uplink spaces that are currently occupied by workers that are not my own, or at least that have someone else's, so... Um, the question is, what spaces do I want to utilize? Um, now, I'm assuming, Chris, or, or not Chris, uh, Richard, excuse me, that I can go ahead and even if my mute, so like if I wanted to use site A again since someone else is there, I can use that? Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. Just as long as you're not the only person at that space. Right, right, right. Um... I think I am going to use, um, I'm going to activate, um, I will join in everyone at the city center. And so I get to perform two actions, one of which will be to um, I'm going to sell my Ankylosaur. Oh, I just put it in the tile facility. Don't action. Yep. So I get three for that. That really makes me wish I had money right now. <laughs> and then I am going to... Looking at my empty park, I think the quote... Pick up like, the you're actually going to have dinosaurs space. in your dinosaur park, aren't you? Someday. Someday. Yeah. <laughs> it's Probably hard to get dinosaurs day. in turn one when this thing's coming up. It is. It is. It's like It makes you very hesitant. Um, so that was my one action, and then, and so how much are fences I ever get? All right, two. It's two credits for three. I guess in turn one, oh, you pretty much, the building. Oh, with, with that coming up in turn one, you can pretty much just get a raptor, maybe, triceratops? Raptor, triceratops. Yeah. I don't even think you could do a raptor because you'd need the meat as well. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that would be hard. Um, and then uh, my other one is going to be uh, the site. So those are my two spaces. Okay. Well, I don't think any of us are getting dinosaurs this first round. So I'm <laughs> going to go and dig through Site B here. 
And that is okay with me, because next round is going to be very good. All right, that's uh, that's the end of the round. Okay. So go ahead and take us through. So at the end of the round, um, if we had visitors, they would be scored, but there are no visitors in the preseason. So the next thing that would happen is feeding of any carnivores. Again, we were all a little uh, shy to get dinosaurs this round. Uh, so the final thing of the round is scoring any dinosaurs or buildings that we might have, which again, looks like it's not going to be uh, an issue for any of us to do. So we're just gonna hit the calculate VPs button over here. Right, because you're talking, when you're talking building generation, you're the one every the symbology in the bottom right corner, which is the end of score victory points, correct? Uh, no. So for example, Paul here has a building that would generate victory points if he had any dinosaurs. Right, but right, because right. he doesn't, this building does nothing right now. Right, right. All right, so we're just going to return our workers. So in the case of this, there there's zero reputation, so ties are broken by the number of facilities you have, uh, which means orange will become first player. I also have one. So the difference on that tiebreaker is the, the coinage of the card, correct? Nope, the, he actually has two facilities. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. So orange will be first, then it's between yellow and blue, and it's whoever has the most credits, which is yellow, and then you, and I will be um, dead last. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so now we gain our visitors for the round. So player one will gain all visitors at the player one column here. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. All right. And there are two bonus visitors. So the whoever the first player is gets first access to them. So he may take both of those two if he has space. He's he only got room for one. So he takes one, and then it goes around in player order, so yellow will get the last visitor. Okay. All so mine. Qu question on that one, because I think maybe we played it wrong or maybe read it wrong. So the, the first player, it doesn't go like one, 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 one. It goes, you first player just takes as many as they can, and then the second player no, takes as many as he gets can. the oh, first okay. two, if possible. After oh, okay. the first two, it's divided one, one, one. Oh, okay. So the first player can possibly take two, and then everyone else can take one. Yep. Okay. And now everybody will gain credits for their visitor, so you can just click the Claim Credits for Visitors button. And now we resolve the current event. Now when my Kickstarter delivers, will I have a claim visitors credit button in the box? <laughs> yes, all of this scripted for me. <laughs> it's pretty Actually, nice. the thing we kind of added for player convenience is you see at the bottom there's that dinosaur value tracker. Mm -hmm. uh, in the actual board, that's another 3D spot where you can move your tile across in order to keep track of how many dinosaurs you got, since you won't have the benefits of the electronic media there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um... At this early in the game, it's not going to matter, really, the order in which we do this, but the proper way of doing it is orange will claim a mutant, then yellow, then blue, and then white. All right. Mutant is this Is that one, because right? the dinos are, uh, are number limited? Yes, they are. All right, so it looks like we've got a uh, the first player because we're ready to go, right? On the yep, turn? we're we're all ready to go. Okay, so go ahead, uh, first player. Go oh ahead. yeah, that's me. I'm so last game I played, I was never first player, not once. <laughs> it's like, and you ended up winning, so that I, I think did, talks yeah. to some of the versatility there. Um. 
All right. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to site A. This is where I grab just two cards, correct? Correct. And keep them both. Yep. All right. All right. Orange player's done. All right, Chris. Who also going to? No. Yeah, I'm going here. We're going to get a bit of stuff here. We are going to pick up one of these uh, fine buildings and three fences. Nice. Well done. Um, I am also going to the city center. I am going to pick up um, one of these uh, nice buildings. And I am also going to go ahead and buy some fences. So you, you wouldn't happen to be building a mutant park over there. I, I mean, I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'm going to go to the timeshare because apparently most people didn't like visiting my park just to see the biodome. So <laughs> this will get the, me the, the, empty the structure there. wasn't phenomenal enough. That like people were so that will uh even out my visitors um just for anybody watching that doesn't know why i would do that at the end of the season every two visitors returned gives you three victory points so if i only had one visitor it would be worth nothing to me all right um so quick question this um, petting zoo how does the mechanics on that one work so you get one victory point for every species with at least two dinosaurs in your park. Oh, okay. Hmm. Mm hmm Tricky. All right. Notably, it's also built on the park side. It says yes. it has the green in the bottom right, so it does take up some of your dinosaur space. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm All right. That's a good point. I'll make sure I put my other buildings where they're supposed to. All right. So... Richard, you've already, you just went, right? I did. Okay, so it's my turn. I will... Man, I need dinosaurs. Um... Do you, though? <laughs> win this game without dinos, too. Um, you know, I wondered if that was a good method of winning, like if you could get enough other things. Um, all right, I'm just going to get more DNA. Pick up two more. Okay. Look at you dominating site A there. Easy peasy, we're producing a dino. You're getting a dino. Now, one thing I wanted to ask, Chris, I, I, could you get to restructure your fences and facilities when you, when you, uh, when you buy fences? Um, is it just buy fences or is it place dinos as well? Just so, buy fences, pre plan. Yes. Okay. And you are never allowed to rearrange your facilities. So oh, they are stuck okay. where they are. Gotcha. Well, that's fine. I'll leave them there. Um, the other question I have here is, so for like, you know, these dinos that have, um, like you can just build, the the pin restrictions is, um, they don't have to have that much free space. Uh, so I guess, for example, is the T-Rex, you can fill a, a three-space T-Rex pin with three different T-Rexes, correct? That's correct. Yeah. So it's just an open space. Also, just a clarification, you are allowed to rearrange your fences anytime you place fences. Yeah. So there are a couple other things other than buying them that allows you to do that. So. Right. There's like an agency card that lets you. Yes. As well. Right. Okay. I, I apologize. I was asking questions. Uh, Chris, you went, it looks like. Uh, uh, yeah. I built my uh, Triceratops here. He's hanging out with the mutants over in my park. Well, he's like next to. You. It's like a. It's like a. You know, proximity thing. I don't know if I would call them visiting each other. Beauty can come um, across any species. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I am going to go to the city center again. 
and I'm going to, um, if I shift, does that um, put the card in the boneyard? Yes, it, yes, does. it does. Okay. Um, I'm going to sell a Brontosaurus huh. in case folks are interested. So I'm going to get five, um, but I'm going to spend four of those. So I'm only going to get one. Oh, I did. I did not mean to do that. Uh, are you all good? I am. All right. So the main reason I didn't get a dinosaur last round is I started out with quite a few brontosaurus DNA. I wondered if you did. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull one of these out. All right, so you're getting because the the benefit of the Bronte the characteristics is you can leave it at, in an open space, and that doesn't rampage, right? Only if another dinosaur gets free, or okay. if a breaking news event causes it to, which is always a little bit of a risk. But mm -hmm. I'm I'm willing to take that risk right now. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say I felt like the the brontosaurus was kind of a cascading rampage trap. <laughs> like he's it, out there. It can be. It can be. <laughs> If you ever lose another dinosaur, it's going to go after the brontosaurus. But uh, aside from the T Rex, it's the most valuable dinosaur. Well, and pterodactyl. Pterodactyl as well, but pterodactyl is one of the hardest ones to get safely. Yeah. yeah I noticed that those pins are expensive. So, an interesting note with that you are allowed to place a pterodactyl without a biodome, it'll just rampage every round. <laughs> you know, we've it, actually I, seen someone hold it in a fence, just repeatedly repairing the fences. And I was gonna say, it's actually, good. I was gonna say okay. that could be that could be a foot strategy. Interesting. Okay. Right. Uh, I, guess, turn it I guess when you roll the dice, as long as you don't get the skull, right? As long as it's just the slash marks, that would you work. can lose a few people. <laughs> yeah, people are. I, I mean, hey, look, I've got a scandal. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to spend, actually, I'm going to sell a, uh, um, oh man, which one? I guess it's the Stegosaurus <coughs> uh, pterodactyl DNA here. I guess, yeah. yeah. That's so that'll in give the me, quick. that'll give me four. And then I'm going to spend six of it to get myself a, a goat farm. Okay. All right. Orange is done. All right. We really wish I had a bit more money so I could get this mutant going. But in lieu of that. You've got goats to feed it. <laughs> uh, our producer says he's stepping away for a moment so he said that the now pg-13 rule is off uh, all profanities are allowed all right uh, all right i went to the agency so i'm done okay hmm well oh interesting interesting um is this where I, well i mean i need goats i need some goats uh The real question is, I feel like I'm I'm potentially filling up my uh, my park too much with buildings. I'm a little nervous to is, to pick up this goat generator. <laughs> you know, I noticed the nice thing about the goat generator is it's worth two victory points at the end. Right, but makes it easier. Now for me. the 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 uh, animatronic T Rex. That's a uh, prestige every round, right? Uh, it just sets your reputation too higher than it currently is. It's worth two reputation. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, th I don't necessarily want to do this, but I think I'm going to pick up some goats. Cool. All right. Well, I rather like that you guys are occupying the city center right now. <laughs> I know what car this is. So I'm going to go to the uplink, and I'm going to strong arm the market. So I'm going you don't have to... that much money. You can't do that much with it. Oh, oh, wait, wait. So I'm going to draw one new facility tile here. I'll just cover that one up. I kind of like these being here. Oh. So my first action will be to sell a Triceratops for two. And then I'm going to buy a basic hotel. And I'm going to buy the animatronic T-Rex. And that'll put me at zero money. But uh, I think that was a pretty good use of my time. <laughs> okay, that's, a, that's everyone. So let's go ahead and go through the... Now, because this is a... Uh, it's the same upkeep phase, but since we now have dinosaurs and things, it's a little bit nuanced. So... Uh, let's let's talk through that. So we have to feed some carnivores. Yep. So if you have carnivores, you must feed them. It's not optional. Outside of a mutant, correct? Correct. Mutants and omnivore. Well, so I... if you feed a mutant two goats, however, you get to place another goat immediately. I, sh I sure am feeding it two goats. <laughs> and. I and I was I did notice that in the game there's buildings that have like bonuses to herbivores, bonuses to carnivores. I'm assuming the mutants are separate from that because they're omnivores, right? They don't get bonuses from those. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. So has everyone pay, fed your carnivore if you are interested? Yes. My mutant can starve. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he's scavenging basic my, critters in the park. Yeah, my mutant's on a Brussels sprout diet right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, all right. So, what's next, uh, Richard? Uh, so after the, the rampage, right? Uh, after the feeding step, if you were not able to feed your dinosaurs, you'd have to do a rampage check for each dinosaur. But I think we're all okay with that. Uh, so the next thing that happens is uh, visitors are returned, which is part of the calculate victory point step. Hit it. So I'm going to hit this. Ooh. And um, on the lower left-hand corner of your screen, it prints out how many victory points you uh, generated this round. All right. And do we have... Uh, where's our little key? There they are. Looks like... Yellow got seven, orange got eight, blue got seven, and white got ten. Now, yes. let's talk a little bit through why these points are generated the way they are. Most of it looks like your points here, Richard, are from this Brontosaurus, I assume, right? So the Brontosaurus is worth five victory points. The mutant is worth two. And then I had two visitors, and every two visitors is worth three victory points. Gotcha. So one thing of note with this mod is it does not accommodate facility victory points. So Paul should increase his total by one because of so his I, right? uh, park mascots. I also have a park mascot. I should get two more. Uh, that is correct. And I should because I have the petting zoo. Yep. And I should, after the feeding, I should have picked up a goat, right? That is correct. Okay. Yeah, that's that step four of the upkeep phase, isn't it? So I believe that is everything. Hit it. All right. End season. Now, does this um, is this going to add my prestige for my uh, my mutant exhibitions? Uh, so it looks like it is. There may actually be a little bit of a bug with the program. It's not accounting for both of them. 
So here's what I'm going to do for you. We're going to steal this token and just throw it on your park. <laughs> gotcha. So I am technically at two rep right now. Yes. Put it closer to the middle. It'll uh, calculate. It'll auto add. There you go. All right. Gotcha. So I have pulled ahead in reputation. People like my Brontosaurus. So you claim. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going next. We're just getting a reversal here. <laughs> Orange, blue, yellow. There we go. All right. I will grab my visitors. I didn't claim my credit. Oh, I clicked that button too soon. One from there. Blue, you get the three people there over there. Yeah, but I only get to take two of them, even though I took all three. I only have space for two of them. Send okay. the third one back on the boat. <laughs> and I it doesn't go to the bonus area. It's too no. Yeah. It's it's lost if it's not taken. All right, so there are two bonus visitors free in player order, so blue may take the first one, but it sounded like you cannot. I don't have any. So yellow may take one of them and orange may take one of them. Nice. Right. And it's one credit per uh, visitor, right? That is correct. I pressed my button a little too early, so I just auto add it. And our breaking news event is uh, the Shadow Broker has appeared. Workers play to the agency may draw four manipulation cards and choose which two to keep this round. Which means I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, and I'm I'm right behind you there. So this. I like these. I'm, I'm next, right? Yep. Uh, blue is after me. Yep. And I actually lose my scandal token now. All right. All right. I think I'm up here. I. I'm going to go just to side A. Okay, orange is up. All right. Um, I'm going to go make myself a dinosaur. It's about yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Little clever girls right here. Oh. Never don't feed those guys. I know. <laughs> I'm thinking about putting two fences around them. <laughs> Just fence them up. There's actually a couple of single player scenarios where you start with way too many raptors, and it's viable to try to just build layers of fences. Nice. All right. I am going to go to the uplink. I am going to initiate a research pact. So this will give me. Uh, 2 DNA plus the number of players in the game. So. And I may give each of you one of them. If I don't, I gain a scandal for each player that does not receive one. Here's the thing, though. I don't really know if I, I want to share. <laughs> it's not been a sharing game so far. Let's see. Right. Chris up there, but early in the game. Paul, you, you already <laughs> have a raptor, so I'm going to donate this raptor to your cause. Oh, just that's so nice. Oh, man. Just, just to encourage you to build that um, uh. and destroy your park. <laughs> um, if the visitors are unruly, I should be able to feed them to the raptors without any loss of no reputation. Right. And I think I'll take two scandals. Because I like my other cards. You are a cruel man. Uh, sorry. Now, just looking through these facilities here, so there's always the hotel, so they're there. Uh, it is the um, the memorial statue, which is just a big victory point generator at the end. Yep. What does the uh, watchtower do? So 
if you during a rampage check, if you roll a slash result, this will cancel it. Okay. The slash I result is the. Yeah, I I did have an I did have an interaction question on that one as well. Yep. Because the raptors, the slashes count as heads. So how does this work against that? So this will actually cancel the hit before it becomes a skull. Okay. Now, this is only allowed to trigger once per game phase, which means if you have two raptors and they both rampage, it'll only stop one of them. Okay. Um... And this facility, because I see you hovering over it, will give you one victory point per Triceratops in any other player's park every round. Oh, good. Definitely not getting any Triceratops then. <laughs> oh, well. I, I just assumed it was your own, so it's other parks. Other parks. It allows you to basically leech off other people's success. Hmm. Well, I okay. love leeching, so <laughs> I'm going to go to the uplink and I'm going to play Bargain Contractors. Okay. So I get to pay one. Oh, that's not right. There we go. And I get to pick up two face-up facility tiles from the city center in to play Damaged. Um, so I'm going to pick up this uh, Triceratops uh, pin here. Flip it over? Yeah, that's right. I apologize. And then, hmm, what do I want? Do I want the vic? Do I want the monuments? I think I need a hotel. I think I am just shy on those. And you you fun. are starting to get quite a few green side facilities there. I am. That is <laughs> that is a true statement. <laughs> just just go all T Rexes for the rest of the game. Right. I mean, isn't that how it works? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was my turn. All right, I'm uh, ready to go here. We're going time share to get a buck and another visitor so I can have an even number this turn. Uh, this is a PG-13. You're not allowed to curse. Not allowed to curse. <laughs> right, just for not remembering. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Well, I want to think more about what I want to do now. Um, man, that was that's a kink. Okay. Um, actually, <laughs> I'm gonna go up here <laughs> and uh, uh, spend uh, spend two, get one. So actually, net. Uh, down one, sorry. Um, and I will get a visitor. You you paid for that visitor to show up to your party. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a marketing budget. That's what it uh -huh. is. Yeah. Uh, All right, Richard. All right, I'm just going to be kind of boring here and grab two DNA. Um, okay. Let's see. I am going to the city center. <laughs> no one's very interested in that space today, and that's okay, I guess. Um, I am going to sell... A stegosaurus. Let's shift that here real quick. Oh. Um, and so that is three money, but I am going to immediately spend it to flip over my. Ooh, which one do I? Don't you don't need the? I feel like I'm definitely going to be losing out on. Uh some people here if I don't flip this hotel. I think I gotta flip the hotel. I think we're gonna do that. Alright, last move here. Mm -hmm. 
city center and we are going to pick up first of all a couple of fences for two and then we are going to okay, how much money we got two bucks we're gonna sell a pterodactyl could you not <laughs> You're the one with the biodome without having any. This is giving you the opportunity. Yeah, but it All was right. cheaper. <laughs> All right. It's my turn, right? That was yellow. Uh yes, uh, sir. I'm gonna go to site B and pick up a couple of cards. Okay. And that's all of it. So, feeding step. All right. I'm going to feed my raptor, but then my goat farm makes another goat. You're all set. I don't have to feed a thing. I fed my rap uh, the mutant a couple of goats, so I got two mutants now. Nice. All right. And... Uh... The rest of us have no carnivores, so we're all good. So I'm going to hit the Calculate VPs button. All right. And I get two bonus ones on top of that because of my facility. I get one. Two. I get two bonuses because of my facility. Yes. Actually, you all jumped ahead a lot there. It's because of the adding of all those dinos. I yeah, it, it's mm-hmm. funny how having dinosaurs in a dinosaur park is important. <laughs> <laughs> Do you plan to have dinosaurs at your dinosaur park? Now, did it, um, did it have the same bug on reputation for me? You should be at a total of two reputation. Okay. Okay, so that's what I'm at. Okay. Okay. So ending the season. I believe I work or stay in first sure? place. And this is the turn we get the bonus worker, right? Yes. Start of yes. season three, you always get one extra worker, so we are now having four. That puts pressure on the tiles in the game. Who is right, second right. player this time? Is there a tie? There is. So blue and orange. Who has more facilities? I've got... I have, does uh, I've got damage three. facility count? Uh, they, they do. Uh, so I have five. Okay, he, he's got it. I feel like I was doing so well earlier. <laughs> take. So you guys may take from the bonus pool as well. Player order. Yeah, so I can get these three. And then I need one of those bonus dudes. Oops. I think blue and orange both get one more person because I think yeah, you both have I spots. Need to, I need to pick it up. Nice. I don't have to bribe anybody to come to my park this time. <laughs> right. Your marketing budget has been uh, reduced. All right. What do I want to do? Really wish Chris had not uh, pushed that pterodactyl into the boneyard. Go digging for it. Yeah, right. I get two scandals. I don't need more right now. Okay, well, this snap point's not really liking me here, so. I no, I have two there. Five, six, seven, eight. Ah. Credits for visitors. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go to the city center. I'm going to buy this large hotel for five. And I'm just going to pick up some fences. Now, do um, the hourglass symbol, that's for end of game, right? 
Correct. Yep. Okay. Scored once at the end of the game. This uh, this Stegosaurus monument, by the way, makes it so all Stegosauruses get two victory points for, at the end of the game uh, per win that you have. And everyone Stegosauruses are permanently worth three vic- reputation if it's in play. Gotcha. Okay. And then the um, the herbivore is just for each herbivore, uh, two victory points for each herbivore, I assume? Yes. What's the little hourglass mean in that assemblage? End of game. End of game. Okay. So it's worth two victory points at the end of the game for every herbivore. Yep. Okay. And just a reminder, mutants are omnivores. They are neither carnivore nor herbivores. So. Right. All right. Um, so I'm still second. I'm actually going to place on our event here. Um, oh, I should have done that. <laughs> for one credit, <laughs> spend, spend one and get five fences. I was really secretly hoping you all would just miss that. I didn't. <laughs> I, was, I was very quiet when he went to the season. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey. Breaking news. I want to stand on top of uh, Chris's head there. Um, and I'm going to pick up five of those, right? Yes. You're you're standing on the shoulders of giants. <laughs> All right. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this incredibly cheap Triceratops and a couple of fences. That's offensive to the Triceratops. You do not call it cheap. It's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my joke is so funny. <laughs> okay. Um, are you all set, Chris? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to work on rearranging here for a minute. Uh, I am going to go to the goat farm and grab myself some three goats. Get yourself some goats. Yeah. All right. Or I may have grabbed four. <laughs> so many goats. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and go to up and I'm going to play the DNA splice. So I'm discarding. Um, it looks like four cards, one of which is a Brontosaurus. Because I want a Brontosaurus. So, so many DNA cards that could have been dinosaurs. I don't care about that. I'm just like waste, wasting, you know, dino DNA. So, <laughs> oh, I went into one. There it is. Okay, and so I get to add a Brontosaurus. Um, now, because you can roam the, the free park. <laughs> one of the rules that I that I want to just be sure on um, this is considered an open space because it it doesn't have fences around it. Correct. So yeah. technically, um, even if the Brontosaurus is in this corner, if it were to rampage, it would still have access to right. every other building right. on your park. Right. Just wanted to. Because it can it can go into the shallows and kind of swim around, right. right? Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna go to the city center. I want to spend um, four to buy that Stegosaurus DNA, and then I, I feel like you guys are just torturing me by not selling DNA this round. <laughs> And then um, I'm going to spend... Fences are two, so I'm going to buy more fences. All right. These three goats are mine. (laughs) There are many goats (laughs) like them, but these are my goats. (laughs) All right. Uh, Whose turn is it? Uh, I think it's... Richard? Is it your turn? Yep. Back over to... uh... What's the uh, N1? White, yeah. Oh. Yes, that was... Richard, did you put your goat in your park? <laughs> Do, are you offended by people? No, I, see my I, goats? Love that, I love that you like add that scenery. 
just know <laughs> on top of these beautiful, beautiful, you know, dinosaurs we have. We also let our goats. Have, mm-hmm. and it's- okay. He's actually so- built this really fancy biodome pin right here for goats. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <do> that. Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm going to the boneyard to grab the pterodactyl DNA because I suspect nobody is ever going to make that pterodactyl your, here, I'll, for me. I'll give you this third. Oh, you picked it up. I was like, I'll give you your scandal token. I really like how this market um, mechanic you got here works. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I already do enjoy that. Thank okay, you. let's see here. There, there. The goat is now in the biodome. <laughs> you have so many goats. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other board game in which I've talked about goats as much as I have this board game. We we checked. We're the first goat meeple manufacturers. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> um, you heard it here. If you want goat meeples, it's the only place you can get it. <laughs> that, dude, this is it. Cornered the market on goat meeples. We currently on blue. We are. Um, so a question: If I were to, I don't know, have another bargain contractors, uh, um, do I get to? If I were to take this hotel, immediately get the like? Uh, does that tile underneath it become available? Yes. Okay. Just checking. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that, though. I, think I mean, I'm it's, it's pretty good to get a seven cost facility, but. Right. I just don't have any stegosauruses. Yeah, it's it's, actually nobody does, which is a little yeah. unusual. Yeah. As a Coloradan, it makes me sad since that's our state fossil and one of my favorite dinosaurs. <laughs> I didn't know states had state fossils. <laughs> right. I'm, now I'm curious what Missouri state fossil. <laughs> um, sorry, I apologize. Um... I don't like that you've tied me on a reputation there. And I, I'm just, you know, a fanatic when it comes to <laughs> these things. I'm going to, yeah, I, I think I'm going to bargain contract. Okay. You, you keep putting them inside the dinosaurs. They don't like that. <laughs> Put the ankylosaurus on top of it. It's fine. I was doing that the other day, too. I'm curious what's underneath this. <laughs> Oh, so I just in re- breaking news. Uh, the uh, <laughs> yeah, the the state fossil is the uh, crino. So they that's Missouri state fossil. Um, How long ago was they around? Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to see what's here. I gotta say, I don't think that's as cool as having a Stegosaurus state fossil. Oh, I, I uh, definitely agree. I think up um, in cool factor. I'm, I'm just pretending like I know what a crinoid is. Yeah, I have no clue. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at pictures of this thing, and it's kind of cool. It's a terrifying Cthulian sea flower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my turn. All right. Um, I'm going to go up here because someone said something about there needing to be some stegosauruses in a park. Um, Heck yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm down for that. Stegosaurus DNA, stegosaurus DNA, stegosaurus DNA. This one didn't drop. There we go. Um, all right. I'll bring in all those uh, Colorado visitors. <laughs> I'm also hitting Dinogenics right after you. 
and we are producing a Triceratops. <laughs> your your cat does not approve. There is a cat, <laughs> cat the wanted the cat there. wanted the Stegosaurus. <laughs> I think the card went under one of these bases, but <laughs> what? What? I think the the one of the cards. Yep, yeah, here it is. It got it got free shrunk and put into. <laughs> Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Tabletop that sounds fun. That was just fun. great to see that happen. Uh, okay, uh, it looks like, Richard, it's your last meeple. All right. I am also heading to Dinogenics. And this this dinosaur cost me a scandal, but uh, I, I rather like him. Even the DNA flies. Even the DNA flies. <laughs> So do you have to have a biodome for each individual pterodactyl or just one biodome to have pterodactyls? So each biodome can hold two dinosaurs. Uh, it does not need to specifically be a pterodactyl. You could, for example, put two T-Rexes in a biodome. Okay. But the diodome still has to have fences around it or no? It does not. Oh, okay. So is However, the biodome... If the dinosaur inside the biodome ever rampages, it immediately destroys the biodome and will free any number of them inside. Gotcha. Okay. All right. In a tragic world. <laughs> and I'm guessing it's still, you still can only have, like, you can't have two dinosaurs of the same type or different types in the biodome. You have my stuff, ankylosaurs. You, you are allowed to have an ankylosaur in anything, but otherwise it's standard, uh, standard placement rules. rules. Okay. All right, I'm picking up some goats. All right, orangey. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pick. Oh, I'm gonna pick up uh, DNA here. Hmm. All right. Whoops, wrong type of card. And you were the last person, correct? Yeah, that is it. All right, feeding step, where I actually have to feed things this time. I uh, don't have to, but I'm choosing to feed four goats to two mutants. Wow. Oh, the goat rampage. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible. Oh, sorry. Uh, so uh, what did you feed? Uh, you fed your uh, pterodactyl? I am feeding my pterodactyl. Okay, just wanted to the make children sure are very out. upset about this. I'm gonna feed my raptor a goat. My farm's gonna make a goat. I think when I get this game, I'm gonna get a little sharpie and just give every goat a name. <laughs> <laughs> See more of the goat. <laughs> I want pictures of that immediately. That'll be amazing. <laughs> Actually, there's Maybe. no. Maybe I'll start a BGG thread so people can give me name suggestions for the goats. Uh, There's no know. reason you couldn't name every single meeple in the game. Richard, <laughs> do we know if we're having a scripting error on my... It, since it's now double? How yep, we... so I'm going to exchange your uh, one rep token here for this one. And you'll be all set. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Put little googly eyes on your goats. That is, uh, that's our producer talking to you. Okay. All right. Uh, are we all fed? No rampages? We're good. Mm -hmm. All right. Make sure you get one credit for your stegosaurus. Who can get the credit? Someone else, right? Whoever has the stegosaurus. Dino Libre. Like, that, that goes to everybody, or is it like the dino just you, just you, it's your bonus? Oh, you own it, so you get a credit. Oh, even though someone else has got the building? 
No, no, it's no, not a it's building. Not it's the dinosaur's uh, trait. Oh, okay. I pay attention to that. Should have. All right. I only went up seven last time, but I'm going up 19 this time. Oh, nice. 16, so 35. Oh, and then plus one, I think, because I have the double here. Now, is this is two or more, right? So my mutants don't give this. Correct. Bonus. It's just one point. All right. Let's see. Everybody all set? I haven't given Almost. I need to. Um, so. One. Two, and I have, th I have three different dinosaurs. One, two, three. All right. Oh, one, God, this two, is close. Three. <laughs> have we been sitting on the same tile like two turns in a row? Yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. And season. All right. Take your visitors. Uh, are we in? Yeah, yeah. That's easy. This turn. Same uh, room. Yeah. Um. All right, and then the bonus did I? Uh, everyone I already took bonus? two. Okay. Um, blue, can you fit any more? I do. I get one of them. Orange, can you fit any more? Yep, I get one. Shoot, I was really hoping you guys would not be able to here. <laughs> By the way, if a random work uh, visitor shows up somewhere, he fell off the board and went into the ether. So I don't That's know right where there. he went to. He's he's hanging out in this little oh, fishing building right over here. Yeah. Uh, he can stay there. <laughs> All right. And claim your money from this. Get here. So just just in the effort of fairness, I'm going to draw your attention to next season's event, because you may want to save some money for that. Right. And so everyone needs to have four monies unless they start picking up scandal. Yep. Wow, that uh that card seems timely right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Are those federal employees? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, All right. I am going to go to the agency and get rid of one of these numerous scandals I have acquired. <laughs> Just all the scandals. Okay. That, I, I noticed the pterodactyl is still there, so I made the right choice by not uh, waiting. I am going to also go to the agency, but I don't have any scandals. I'm just picking up two cards. <sighs> you, you hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, my next? Yeah, I'm after, after blue. Um... I'm going to go to the uplink. I'm going to play black market. Okay. I'm going to I want to draw two DNA cards that will push the pterodactyl down to here, right? Correct. Um, and then I had to and now my question on this card is it says you pay um half the price rounded up, so do you like you add them all together? And then half the price, or is each individual one half the price? And then it's each up. individual card. So this pterodactyl yeah. is currently three dollars. So oh, half of fine. three rounded up. Two bucks for it. Two two bucks. Right. But it's on so, the discount spot, right? Does that still? That's count? what uh, that's what caused it to be so cheap. Three. Oh, gotcha. So it's two, two, and three right now. Two, two, and three. All right. So I'm gonna spend. See if it two, two, and three. I don't need another stake source. Um, yeah, so I will spend. Are you sure? Because I'm a. I've got this lovely stegosaurus built. <laughs> yeah, but you haven't even bothered to repair it, so I mean, clearly I you don't care. really three. care. 
<laughs> two, two, and three. So it's five. There, almost spend five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> then I'm going to grab this pterodactyl. And I'm going to grab this brontosaurus. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm I'm also going to play a black market. <laughs> wow. Uh, not what I was looking for, but okay. <laughs> so one, two, and two. Well, I'll take it all. <laughs> All right, your yellow's back to me. Yes, sir. What do I want to do? I think we're going to go to the city center. We're, we're going to build ourselves a monument to greatness. <laughs> and three fences. Okay. Um, gosh, if only we had dinos to make this city center helpful. It's funny how those all vanish. <laughs> um, all right, well. <laughs> what, <laughs> I mean... I'm, att I'm attempting to draw a little uh, wave for our guy to surf on, but honestly, I'm not much of an artist. <laughs> You're such a great... <laughs> okay. I am going to go to... Oh, the uplink's taken. Dang it. Uh, two bucks you you got that money i know <laughs> just do thinking the things through yeah i'm gonna go ahead to the uplink for two bucks and uh, it's a good one i'm gonna pick up is the, that the fences one no it's the yeah it's a uh, pick up a oh search through them cheap. nice I think I'm picking up a monument. Um, I I stole one of those, so yeah, I'm not I think sure there's, there's any left. left. Yeah, there's one still. Okay. I should probably say that also in the real game, instead of a little facilities tile thing here, there's actually a bag that we threw in that you shuffle all the tiles around in. So I have to pay one for that. Right. Are are any of your visitors complaining about the disarray of your park? I'm I'm noticing a trend. No, they, they my complaint box is empty. <laughs> my comment box is pristine. Are are you feeding the the complainers to the mutants? I, I mean, I've had goats. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Workers deployed receive an additional three. So I'm going to the ferry and getting six. Nice. It's actually a pretty good play. <sighs> All right, Chris. Time share. So you're getting what is that? Four. I'll get my little surfer four and four and bucks. Okay. You just wanted the surfer. He had wanted to come to the park all along. It's what's best. <laughs> right. He, he, he was expecting. What was all it? Right. Jurassic Park 3 where uh, they started on the beach? Oh, God. I don't know. You're getting into Jurassic Parks that don't matter. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I am going to go to Dinogenics and I'm going to bring out a Triceratops. Oh, 
right. Um, I'm going to go to the ferry and get six money. That's actually pretty fortunate considering we're about to have striking workers. Right. Yeah. All right. I got a rampaging dice question. Yep. <laughs> um, so if I place a dinosaur and it ram like where it's not in a way it's supposed to be right now, it's going to rampage immediately, right? Correct. Yeah. When does it rampage again? During the uh, after the feeding step. Okay. <sighs> I can't do that. Okay. Um. Then this was that that's uh oh it's herbivore. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna go here and get some DNA. Okay, Chris. All right. Three goats. Goats. Okay. Oh, goatly. All right, Richard. That. I'm wishing I had a couple more dollars. Right. Isn't that how it works? Three, two. I don't know that I really need another hotel. Huh. You know, I think I'm just going to get some more goats preemptively. So who knows what comes next? Okay. Well, um, after uh, immense criticism about a uh, park, uh, the, up the facility upkeep <laughs> of a park, I'm going to repair one <laughs> of my buildings. And I am going to purchase uh, three fences. I'm losing five. So I, I would just like to take a moment to invite you all to my goat preserve over here. <laughs> is, it, is it a nice <laughs> Brontosaurus horse is going to step on, you know. <laughs> No, they're they're friends. It's fine. They, you know those animal like documents that show like the tiger and the puppy who become like <laughs> best friends and hang out forever. It's a brontosaurus and a goat. It's the new time age story. Yeah, still like the crazy cat lady. This brontosaurus is like a <laughs> crazy goat lady. <laughs> the goats are his pets. You don't even know how many brontosauruses you have as pets. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So, Chris, you went right. So it's my turn. I yes, sir. All right. Um, I'm gonna go to the boneyard and grab this brontosaurus. Well, oh. I can't. I guess I gotta reach into that thing, don't I? And grab. No, it. you just yeah, gotta pull. Yank out. fast. Like, yank fast. Oh, okay. Got it. So one one issue. And scandal token. Uh, hand limit is actually ten cards. Oh, oh! So what it was? Yeah, I, I, I was told that there wasn't a hand limit. So there is a hand limit: ten cards of ten DNA cards. Manipulation cards are unlimited. Oh, okay. So let me find one to get rid of. I don't, and and, and we get rid of them into the market or to the discard. Discard. All right. I don't envision a world in which I'm going to be building a Tyrannosaurus. That's a whole lot of meat. Wow, that's that. I'm real sad for that T Rex. <laughs> All right, am I last up here? I think so. Nice and simple. We are going to grab the couple of fences here for that'll cost me two. And then we'll spend the rest of our money on a standard hotel. Uh, 
That's it. All right. Feeding step. I don't have to. But do you want to? I don't have any goats, so even if I wanted to, my mutants, my mutant park is is just chilling right now. But but you have these delicious visitors, high in <laughs> nutritional value. If I only my... I could feed them visitors. <laughs> I feed my raptor my goat named Chris, and oh uh, wow, and I get a new goat named uh, Chris. I really hope you rampage over here, Chris, because. Uh, <laughs> You put all of your mutants into one giant pit. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the next card to come up is a rampage card. <laughs> okay. They're running free, like all mutants are meant to be. <laughs> free, as free as the wind blows. All right. Has everybody fed if they are going to feed? Uh, I'm actually getting one more mutant. Ooh, I think that's gonna. Is that pop you up over me in rep yet? No, you're. They ain't uh, worth anything. Oh, that's right. How many goats do you have? Just one? He's got one. Okay. All right. Uh, calculating victory points. Oh man, you guys jumped way ahead of me that time. Gotta hit this orange thing. So twenty. We were all in forty-one, right? Six. Yeah. Uh yes, I believe so. Um, that didn't bump my. So I, I don't think the Triceratops scripting. Is that's not scripted, probably, is it? No, you add the victory points yourself. So one, two, three Triceratops. triceratops? Uh, that would be correct. So I go up three more points. Wow, you've uh, if caught orange. Very nice. That means you you have quite a few hidden points in your park. That's it's getting risky for us. <laughs> Low biodiversity, though. True. Maybe you don't know. I could have some really great ideas coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm just looking at your your three remaining spaces and really curious what you're going to put in them. I mean, two of them will have mutants in it. <laughs> 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 there will be two mutants. <laughs> All right. End season. You just got a bunch of mutants here staring at the Brontosaurus hungrily. Right. <laughs> it's like, you're gonna be food. Alright. Well, it, it looks like we're not going to have a horrible rampage in event, but... Oh, uh, next round... There no are no goats. goats. Uh, do, we, do we need to pay our four now? Uh, uh, so it happens after money is gained from visitors, oh, so we'll okay. do that first. So I will take four. Two more. <clears throat> now these bonus visitors split up, I guess. Yep. Blue, do you have space for a visitor? I do. I do not. Orange, do you? I do. Yellow, do you? Yes, sir. Okay. Again, I'm deprived. <laughs> All right. All right. So now each of us may must pay one credit per worker in our park. So that'd be four for everyone. Well, all that money I made just went right back to the workers. What a travesty of American <laughs> capitalism. Yup. Do we have to if we have it? You you must if you have it. Okay. Maybe I just want to not pay my workers. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would actually be 
pretty risky at this point in the game with uh, only one full round, well, two full rounds remaining, including right. this one. Okay. All right, so I'm Still going to go to the order, it looks like. Yep. I'm going to go to the agency and get rid of the scandals before I get cut off from that. Right. <laughs> Now, there is a fun card. Um, I am going to go to Site A and pick up some DNA cards. What does anyone think as far as Blue having a really good shot at winning here? <laughs> I, I think he has a solid shot if he repairs his buildings. All right. I'm going to go to Agency and get rid of my scandal. And then I get to draw two of these cards. It's the first time I've been there. This game. That's that's where the cool people. Hang it out, is. You know? It is. It is. It's probably one of the cooler parts of the game. I'm getting my goats now. <laughs> you might as well. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, is it me? It is me. Yep, it is you. <sighs> Anytime Richard says, uh, how many goats do you got left? I immediately go, I better get some goats now. <laughs> <laughs> why, why does it matter how many you have left? Is it, uh, it means he's going to try to cut you off. Oh, <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> You've only done it about a dozen times. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, I'm going to go to the city center. I'm going to buy three fences. Okay. And I might also buy something else, but it's probably a basic hotel, so don't worry about it. Okay. Um, I am going to go to the city center and sell a brontosaurus for five and then pick up a biodome so I'm actually not... what am I doing here I have never seen so many tiles on the green side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually clever with how many tiles you have on the green side there. Yeah, it's a, it's a good move. I'm just like, wow, it's a... I can rearrange these fences now. Nope, Place you're not going to place those them only. Whenever you buy. Okay. Um, I'll just put it there for now. Okay, so that was lose two. Oh, that is. That's the plus the minus three button. There it goes. All right, my turn. Yes, I think so. I'm go uplink. Um, I'm gonna do offshore. The offshore contract. I think I might have dropped it into a, a, a dinosaur. <laughs> um, I, I noticed that. Uh, yeah, there was seven in there. First one, so we <laughs> four discount, minimum one. I'm gonna buy the other. Dice. Oh. Well, you know, I saw the movie Biodome, and I'm proud not to own a Biodome like you fellers. <laughs> 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 A right, goat dome, goat dome. Right. I don't have any goats. I mean, goats won't go there. My my raptors are keeping a goat population in check. Okay, we're building a raptor. All right. Oh, you do have a space for it. 
All right, I am going to go to the uplink, and we are going to do some DNA splicing. And sure. this is going to be the spikiest Tyrannosaurus you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to go to the uplink, pay two, oh. and get uh, some fresh meat. <laughs> so I guess that's a question in this breaking news. Since workers cannot be played at the farm, can you play a worker to the uplink to use the farm? You cannot, or because the uplink specifically says use an occupied space. Oh, it's occupied. Okay. All right. Um, could have easily played that card, though, on that sort of turn. Yeah, so, like, I, I could play... I can use uplink to play, like, a fresh meat card and still get meat, even though mm -hmm. the farm's not open. I'm going to go to the farm, grab uh, three goats, one named Matt, <laughs> one named Tony, <laughs> one named Richard. All right. <laughs> Richard, what's happening to me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said I had a goat named Chris. I well, yeah, that's a gender neutral name. <laughs> it is an ambiguous name. <laughs> All right. Uh, speaking of Chris. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> I, I'm just really disappointed somebody cut off the outsource space here. Sorry. You okay. didn't even need that meat. Oh, I do. Uh, where'd you go, Chris? I just went and got a, a DNA. He went up to the site, site B. Gotcha. No comment. Alright, I do need to get goats, or I will have issues. <laughs> you mean you have so many sitting out here on your farm? Yeah, but I'm going to use three every round at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I should have right. gone to the goat farm. <laughs> I'm going to go to the city center and uh, sell my T-Rex for four, but then I'm buying uh, two the, for fifty. Does the T-Rex go there? Or does he go on the other side of the Brontosaurus? Oh, he does. I apologize. Oh, I just didn't really see anything I have to before. All right, that is my turn. All right, I think that's right. every I'm, no. no. I'm going up to Dinogenics, and I am going to double check. Yep, I'm going to create a pterodactyl. And I'm going DNA fishing a bit more. Okay. All right, feeding time. I'm feeding my mutants to get some more. That and there's only goat. one mutant left, so uh, don't feed oh, all your goats. There? Oh, see, that's one thing I didn't keep track of. <laughs> I was actually really trying hard to see if I could get that last mutant before you got in there. All right, I'm feeding three goats to my hungry, oh, hungry that, dinosaurs. That actually really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll Ooh. teach you not to diversify. You should have shot one of your mutants and then made more mutants. <laughs> Can I rearrange where my dinosaurs go? Only when you place fences. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, was everybody able to feed properly? Yes, sir. Yep. All right. So calculating VPs. All right. All right, plus three. 70. 
And then I get plus four. I go. We still only at three triceratops here? Yeah. I think so. The building is paying for itself, though. <laughs> How did did I not do that math right? I did not. I only okay, so two, three, four. I was like, how did you all jump so far ahead of me? You I only should have had twenty one points. points instead of twenty one. Yeah, I gave myself eleven instead of twenty one. Actually you should have had twenty two points because of your petting zoo. Well, That's... and then um three more. Right, here, so right. Yeah. Yep. Paul, did you uh, check for your park mascots? I did. Yeah, it's four, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yep. All right. I did forget to pay myself. When did I pay myself for the Stegosaurus? At the during the upkeep phase. So right now. Okay. Yeah, when you're building this turn. I think. Okay. I'm leave on. Ending season. Oh, I'm kind of happy that didn't come out actually. <laughs> Yeah, that happened to us. When we played the first time. Yeah. So is that the la is this what's going to happen last round? Nope. Uh, that we're does in not take place. We're oh, in okay. the last round. All right. Something kind of cool for you guys, actually. See how there's little numbers in the bottom right of those cards. Mm -hmm. So in the back of manual, the back uh, 10, 11, 12 pages or so is a series of single player scenarios we made, and each one will say like build a breaking news deck with cards with the following numbers oh, and along yeah. with a bunch of interesting scenarios like uh having to have a park that's winding down and losing visitors or have starts with too many raptors or one of them involves a massive uh zombie t-rex problem right <laughs> Ooh, cool. yeah actually is a it's a complete little 10 scenario story we didn't really announce as that but it kind of turned into that as we kept playing it it's incline and decline of a bunch of different parks so Chris, you took my visitors, but uh, I guess I'll just take yours. <laughs> oh, did I? My bad. It's, it's the same amount. <laughs> no, I was. I'm player two. Are you? Yeah. Oh, maybe I didn't see the. No, oh, you are. Oh, I didn't uh, see that. I didn't know if you got more mutants that made your thing go up. Nope. Uh, not. I didn't. Well, I, it's for every two, so no, I didn't. Okay, orange, do you have space for an extra visitor? I don't. Mm -mm. Blue, do you? Nope. Yellow? You betcha. I have space for one as well. Do you have space for the next? Yep. Okay. And claim your credits. I feel like these guys have played this before. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a little. You know, once or twice. So what does salvage operations do right here? It lowers the price of all future facilities you buy by one. Oh, I really wish I would have <laughs> a lot of facilities. That would have been it's kind of fun. Oh, this this building is another site uh, site B, huh? So, Actually, no. It uh, makes it so site B only requires one discard. Oh, to okay, gotcha. Interesting. All right. So uh, I need to do this first. Um, oh, uh, the event, you cannot go to the farm this season. So, Oh, let me drop a couple of block tiles on that. Uh, I'm going to the agency to get rid of my last scandal because uh, we are at the end. Go ahead, Orange. Oh, yeah, I should be second. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't get my money. I didn't get money for visitors. Boom. All right. Um, I'm going to go here. I want to spend six of that money on that Brontosaurus DNA. Okay. Uh, I'm and next, then, I think. And then... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm going to... Buy, huh? I feel like I just buy the small building just for the <laughs> victory point at the end. I don't know. Um, 
money's also worth every three bucks is one victory point. So it kind oh, of evens okay. out. That's kind of washed in. All right. Then I'm just going to... Um... Do you, you have to take two actions in this spot, I'm assuming? No, you can take one. You can take one? Okay. Um, then I guess I will... Man, yeah. I'll just take one. Okay. I am going to also go here. One of my actions will be to... Um, Will be to repair and uh, that is the only action I'll take. All right, okay, yeah, rip to me. Uh, yeah, Chris, it's your turn. Or no, it's Chris, whoever is talking, Chris, Chris, turn. CJ, yeah. yeah. Really scratching my chin on this one. I got a couple options, but I don't know if I can pull them off. All right. All done. DNA? Yeah, and it did not pan out. Okay. Well, in my... Uh tenure as the, the CEO of this corporation. I've made some some private connections. Oh, They're yeah? very wealthy and I'm going to invite them to a private screening at my park. Oh. I've seen that movie before. It doesn't end up well. <laughs> uh, so, so I'm going to show them my pterodactyl, oh. my T-Rex, and my brontosaurus for nine points. Oh. Wow. Wow. And is, uh, that is my turn. All right. Um, I'm going to go up here. Are goats mm. worth anything at the end of the game? They are not, sadly. <laughs> Morale. <laughs> <laughs> is there a building that makes goats worth something? Like you make them look like that? <laughs> not <laughs> <No>. yet. <laughs> you attach the little fake horns on them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make myself a brontosaurus. One, two, three, four. All right. You know, actually, I could totally see a, a building in this game called, like, Goat Costume Shop, where every three <laughs> goats give you one dinosaur <laughs> point. Can that... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you done, Paul? I am. Oh, I got some potential choices, and I don't know. We're going to go to site A and pick up two DNA cards. Okay. I absolutely just have to try. <laughs> are, are you? Okay. We're good. Brontosaurus, I'm betting. Oh, heck no. That would be way too good for my luck so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'm really curious what you're working right. toward. All right, back to me. Well, my uh, my private benefactor was so impressed. Oh, I hate <laughs> he you. He came back for another. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But he did put me in touch with some people that work in you guys' parks. So you, you may have a little bit of an infestation problem. <laughs> so each opponent must close one occupied hotel, and their visitors come to me if I have space. Oh, wow. Do you have space? I have space for one visitor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want my visitor to go to you. <laughs> All right. I lose uh, two. Can they go down and hang out on the blue wave? Sure. <laughs> All right. Not nice. That's my turn. <laughs> um. All right. I'm gonna go to 
uplink, spin two, one, two. I'm going to play Research Pact. Ooh. Equal to the number of players plus two. So six. Uh, six, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, actually okay if you keep all of the DNA here. <laughs> There's only seven DNA cards left. So, one, two. Because I get to look at them before I give over, them. Hover yep. over that and just pick um, what? how many do you have left? I get two more left. All right, you can just hover over out. and press the number. Let you do it. Okay. Um, so I get to look at them before I give them to you guys, right? You do. Yep. Okay. What you really want, Paul, is to give me all of the. Don't give them to Richard for sure, right? But I mean, I'd be okay if you give me three T Rexes. That'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, no, don't. No, I'd be tempted to build it at that point. I can. I have three Ankylosauruses instead. I mean, I would take three T Rexes. So I, I gotta give everybody one, right? Yep. To, to not get a scandal. Okay. Can't you? Well, can't you? Can you distribute that in any combination? Yes, you can. So you can give get... all of them to me. No, um, like each each opponent has to end up at, with at least one. Well, no, he can distribute them as he wishes, but every player that does not get one, he gets one scandal. Oh, okay, got you. Okay. Um, I feel like you want a Stegosaurus. Sure. Um, I feel like the Mutant Park. What is Once the a Stegosaurus? <laughs> Do you just um, <laughs> and I feel like the T Rex Park, or this. What's it doing? All right, I'm, I'm dropping it here. Um, you want a T Rex? I think it would complement your park pretty well. Literally, the only thing I wanted was a Stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> so you get excited, <laughs> and I let you. Go. You want to rearrange right. that and give him my, one of my Stegosaurus? Take a sore eye. <laughs> nope, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Um, Remember this? We started the game out at not being a sharing game. Um, right. I think I deserve that. <laughs> if you give me those two coins, I have Sega Force. Let's take a source for you. Um, let's see here. I think this is. I think I have to do that. Uh, gosh, if only there were one more. There's one more mutant. I would have been exactly what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna go to the city center, and um, here I will. Let's see if this helps you, uh, Chris. I will sell a Stegosauri for three. All right. And I will uh, keep the money over there, and I will flip a building. Well, I'm going to go buy it immediately. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm hoping you will do. <laughs> and then a couple of fences. It's it's really a shame you blocked off the outsource space because I, I had more fun manipulation Stop cards it. Play. <laughs> <laughs> So it feels like those uh, the cards from the agency, they're they're very nice uh, and it doesn't feel like there's too much of a i mean because i i had picked up several and i almost wish i'd gone maybe one more time um and picked yeah. up i mean that event helped where you were getting four yes it it actually feels like you kind of want to like get some scandals so you can get the most out of that agency right. draw stack you, you should never be afraid of getting scandals in the early game i i was gonna say that's one thing when i looked at the game that i was pretty confident that picking up a scandal or two at the beginning was not that big of a deal. Because again, you you know, you you pick you play two cards, you've gotten rid of two. You know, even if that worker piece would have happened and you had no money, that three scandals to get rid of throughout the game. You know, just draw yourself some agency cards, you know. The the one thing to be wary of is there are some breaking news cards that will cause your dinosaurs the rampage. And if you go over, like, when I had three, that's, like, the maximum you ever really want to have, yeah. because beyond that, it becomes very difficult to get rid of them. Okay. Yeah, you're, if you're, commit, you're definitely committing 
<laughs> so I don't really know what I want to do at this point. Guess I'm just gonna get a point with money because all the good stuff is taken. All right. Uh, I'm just going to the ferry for three bucks. I think. Wait, do any of you have scandals? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm getting three bucks. <laughs> All right, Paul. I am going to go get dinosaur. What are you getting? I am going for Ankylosaurus. One, two. Three and I know they play well with others, but my ankle is <laughs> he uh he's kind of a grumpy one, so I'm gonna put him down here. <laughs> okay, well I'm also gonna go to the lab here and I'm gonna play a raptor. Nice. And I'm putting him in my biodome. Yep. That's valid. So, Chris, are you getting that stegosaurus? Believe me, I think give me a moment. I'm really doing the math in my head here. All right, <laughs> stegosaurus is worth stegosaurus is worth one more point than a tri, than having another triceratops. But at the end of the game, I'd get three bonus points plus another fourth bonus point due to my building here. For potential, I can't fit him. You can't fit the stegosaurus. He I can I, he, space. He would rampage twice. Do it. <laughs> Take why would the he chance? Ramp, why would he rampage? Oh, because of the not fitting him initially, and then uh, now can so question: Can you put him in the pen you've already created? Yes. Even though yeah. it doesn't. Okay, so at least the, if you dodge, you know you could dodge and get a broken wall. However, yeah, so if he like, rolls a six, then that would still kill a visitor because the visitor falls in the pen with the dinosaur. I'd have to risk two rampages, which is potentially minus 12 points-ish or plus four. As your opponent, I say it's worth it. Yeah, I, I, it. I concur with this <laughs> advice. From I mean, I want as many stegosauri in your park as possible. So. <laughs> Just know that I give my, you know, I, I up your uh, reputation. <laughs> you just threw those at the middle of the board. <laughs> Where, I, yeah, I never told me the honest kid. For I feel like there's a good, uh, a good uh, Jurassic Park quote for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that that's okay. You're, you're Here, right, let Flash. Me, let me pull it up for you. We'll be... He's just going to rampage again soon. It's cool. No it, problem. It's fine. It's fine. The, your scientists were so preoccupied with whether they could. <laughs> they <didn't stop> <laughs> <laughs> I, I also like that you killed one of my workers with that role as well. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I got two of them. You killed two of my workers. <laughs> That's negative 100 victory. So. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the barbasol shaving. How many references right. have we made uh, that copy? Is that the end of the game? <laughs> uh, that is. So, feeding step and penning check. Chris, I'm is gonna... is your stegosaurus properly penned? <laughs> <laughs> you know the answer to that good and well, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, happy face. Uh, so this year you had visitors uh, die from bed bugs as well as uh, stegosaurus. <laughs> I am very thankful that the bed bugs drove out the visitors because the hotel That's was true. destroyed. That that would have cost you two scandals. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. If if Chris wouldn't have gone with mutants as well, I think I would have potentially eked out a win. But I think I'm just a little too shy right now. Ah, you got some good endgame stuff. Yep. Yeah, but like I said, I was I built that pin with the hope of having at least two more 
uh, or uh, four more mutants. So, uh, yeah, I mean, right. uh, the monuments will get. But... So, are we ready to calculate our points here? I think hit so. the button, Johnny. Hit in the button. Ooh, thirty-three with the last jump there. Uh, Twenty-two. And I'll go through all of the final bonuses here once everybody has moved up. <clears throat> Are we still only at three Triceratops? I think so. Yep, okay. Whew. Richard, you are <laughs> you are quite a ways ahead there. And I even have one extra goat. Was the Brontosaurus's friend, so I could not feed it. You couldn't kill it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love how because you put it on the board, it it shrunk them all. <laughs> all right. So final final scoring things here. So um, first, uh, calculate any bonuses from end game scoring buildings. That would be any building with the hourglass symbol. Okay, so mine is red. Two victory points for each Stegosaurus? Yep, in any player's part. Okay, so I get one, two. Okay. So four additional victory points there. Does anybody else have one of those buildings? Nope. Okay. So now add points from the indicators in the lower right-hand corner of your facilities. I get three. You get twenty. Jeez, that's uh, that's pretty good. Who got twenty? Blue. Wow. Okay. Uh, you get one point for every two DNA cards in your hand. I get. Zero. Now see why you have a <laughs> hand limit of ten. Yes. Uh get one point for every three dollars. Oh, my did my stegosaurus give me a coin before we did it before the end of the game? Okay. Not that I'm going to be close or anything, but. And finally, get three points for every unique species in your park. Three points for every unique? Yes. So you would get six. Three, uh, nine. nine. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Wow. That's impressive. All right. And that is the game. Wow. All right. What is tiebreaker? Because I, I need to know that I'm not in last. <laughs> <laughs> Reputation is tiebreaker. All right. All right. Uh, I lose. <laughs> <laughs> One sixty two for Richard. One sixty two. 144 for me, and then 141, 141 for us. For Paul and Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about that at the beginning of the stream that we typically beat designers, but uh, <laughs> we did not. So I think this that's, one, that's this is one that's, of those that's, competitive designers, right? That's <laughs> one thing I think I didn't hold on much of is at the end of the game, each different species is worth. Yes. Three more points. Um, but I do think that if, if like, this was a, a very viable mutant based strategy, if Chris had not taken mm -hmm. the three, I need, you know, he could have even did it once. If I would have had three, 
the the mutant strategy is definitely weakened by having multiple people go after it. Part of right. yep. uh, a pretty large part two of, of this, these. this game is um, paying attention to how other people are building their parks. Because there are quite a bit of uh, ways of gaining from what they're doing. Uh-huh. And if too many people go after the same thing, it's also kind of detrimental. Right. You watch three um, so, people get T Rexes, and all of a sudden everything goes to hell. Right. So I guess that the fact that the very first card that came out was a card that gave everybody a mutant, mm-hmm. like that immediately like kind of hurts the mutant strategy, right? Yeah. I don't know if I would have. Yeah, I don't know if I would have gone the mutant strategy though if it wasn't for that, because I I definitely could have um, done more in the drawing, and I mean I had a lot of diversity in card, um, and with. Uh, yeah, I did take the bait. I, I I got excited about mutants. Yeah, my goal was to get a lot of different things. I just was too slow about it. Well, I think that's all for us. And actually, that wasn't too long of a show. We did pretty good with that. So uh, two hour show, not not the worst. I mean, we've definitely had four hour shows and not finished the game. So, um, Richard, Chris, and Paul, thank you for joining us. Uh, Richard, congratulations on your win. Again, remember that if you have not uh, put in exclamation point raffle, you should do so right now uh, for the last uh, chance to entry for the giveaway for tonight. Um, Also know that if you join the Discord uh, and you play a game, because you can keep playing all the way until Sunday, uh, we will... Uh, pull at eight, which is an hour before the podcast, and then we will announce on the podcast who gets the giveaway. Uh, but yeah, feel free to join, play games. Um, make sure you're just posting your winning score. Uh, there are plenty of people. We've actually had a lot of people playing Dinogenics over the past few days. So there's a, it, even outside of streaming. So there's a lot of folks that if you're not interested in streaming, want to get in and, and just play a game. Plenty of folks have been into it. So uh, yep. join our Discord, play the game. Uh, Richard, do you have any last things you want to say before we sign off? Nope. Uh, just happy to be here. It was fun. Okay, great. Well, we, we love to having you again. And um, yeah, everyone, have a great night. Hey, take care. Thank you. See you.